Okay. Okay. So I want you guys to imagine you guys are 21 and you guys are on a mill and you have two options to get a ride home. Option one is a driver that has had the legal amount of alcohol in their system has offered you a ride home. And two is a sober driver, but they will be continually texting while you are driving home. Which driver would you choose? Surprisingly, your best bet would be option number one. <laughs> With that being said, by the end of my speech, you will no longer cross your mind to even touch your phone while you're driving. As a matter of fact, I'll have you convinced to turn off your phone while you're driving. If you listen carefully, today you will learn exactly why texting while driving is a frivolous issue, what causes people to take such dangerous risks, and learn successful solutions to keep these numbers down. So these are my three points. I'm going to give you a problem, cause, solution. Uh, for those of you sitting in your seats right now thinking it is not an imperative issue, we too hear these numbers. Motor vehicle accidents is the number one cause of death among teenagers, even before drugs and disease. 20% of traffic accidents occur when talking on the cell phone according to National Safety Council. 1.4 billion annually are caused by phone calls and 200,000 are by text messages. 83 of people agree that this should be banned, but 63 still engage in texting while driving acts. Each year, 21% of fatal crashes involving teenagers between the ages of 16 to 19 were results of cell phone usage. This is expected to grow 4% every year according to the Washington Post. Texting while driving is more dangerous than driving under the influence. A recent study by a prominent automobile association said texting while driving is 50, increases um, the accident by an accident by like 50%. To put it more in perspective, a study from the New England Journal of Medicine reports risk of having an accident while using phone and driving is the same as driving drunk above the legal, legal limit, which is 0 0.08. Many people, especially teen teenagers, believe this cannot happen to them because they are being careful enough. However, there's a great chance to you that even another driver could be doing the same and make a reckless move, such as no chance to react and you could no way to avoid a collision. Driving consists of mental focus and constant visual evaluation of the road and physical control. Mixing driving with texting can cause you to miss a break or a bad driver cutting you off or a pedestrian crossing the road or light turning red. Now that you know how serious of a problem texting while driving is, up next are some issues that cause this bad habit. First one would be that texting while driving has become too convenient nowadays and that it's super addicting. All of us are connected to our phones even like now or like while we're walking to class or eating and it's so easy. You can compose a text anywhere, send a text anytime, anywhere. Also, DMEs are not giving clear instructions for new drivers. Before new drivers get their licenses, DMVs should discuss the fact of taking their eyes um, of new drivers taking their eyes off the road when texting and driving or calling. Even for seconds, you could kill innocent lives. Also, we learn by example. As children, we learn from our parents' behavior, so we might see our parents texting or driving. So we should be example for those that are younger than us. You need to pull over to be safe when texting on the phone or, or on the phone. You also should become more involved with your community. You should set rules for yourself and your household. You should tell family and friends the importance of distracted driving. And take, uh, take information that you know to other organizations that you know, or like schools, while giving, also, while giving clear instructions and setting positive examples and not, being able to, and not being afraid to speak up will reduce texting while driving. But there are also more advanced solutions being implemented as well. The Federal Communication Commission reports that they hosted a staff workshop on distracted driving, which explored like technology innovations and applications that are new that would reduce the problem of distracted driving, as well as to educate the public about dangerous behavior. Applications for smartphones are continually on the rise, and they don't even give yourself the option of texting while driving by eliminating the temptation with various blocking systems. An example is text blocker. Text blocker, this like engages like your GPS on your phone, and then through the GPS it determines when you're driving and when you're not, and so it automatically will eliminate like the phone calls and texts you get unless there's like a safe list on your phone and like 911, which is on your safe list. Um, it responds to texts and calls like a personal assistant, politely letting callers know that you're driving and will reply later. 
Applications even give you the ability to respond to emails by text, by voice. Even using headsets and Bluetooth even give the ability to respond, to respond to such. Although it may not eliminate distracted driving, it is a start. According to the Governor Highway Safety Association, 44 states have implemented some sort of ban, phone ban. I know in California, that's where I'm from, this is kind of like a big issue. The ticket is about $300 when my older sister got it. I don't know about you, but I sure wouldn't want to pay that. Also, truck and bus drivers who text while driving may be subject to, 2000, to about 2,750 fines, according to the National Highway Traffic, Traffic Safety Administration. AT&T has also even joined the cause to stop this. <coughs> cause to stop. Cause to stop the texting with driving with commercials such as these to explain the tragedies that can happen. Children's glass broke and, and screeching and I saw, you know, a body come down from off the top of the, the van and I just thought, oh my gosh, what have I done? I just, what have I done? There's never, never a day that I, I wake up that I don't think about it. Through this video, even simple text message that says, I love you, could end up killing a family. What could cause, like, what happens after this? He wasn't charged for this, but... So you can be charged for involuntary manslaughter, which could either get you prison time up to 12 to 16 months, or you could be subject to fines. It all starts with you though. You can prevent others when you see them texting like your friends in the car. You could be like, please stop texting, it's making me nervous. Or even you could have, even ask them, be like, oh, I can text for you, which would be fine. Or you could even live by example. You say, look at the bad driver, I bet they're texting. While well, operating a vehicle, all attention should be on traffic and other drivers to ensure safety and safety of others. Texting while driving is a serious problem, it has several causes and can be eliminated. After giving all this info, you'd be a fool to even text while driving. We should all avoid that it's not going to happen to me syndrome, because it could happen to any of us sitting here. If you need motivation, just put others before yourself. Remember, take, remember you can take innocent lives. I hope these words stay with you when next time you think about texting while driving. While driving, you should be doing one thing, and that's driving.